high. If you're a webmaster or a site creator, you have to make sure the content of your site reaches its intended audience. One way of doing that is by assigning carefully chosen titles to your web pages as well as meta descriptions and keywords. Since there's no direct method of creating such head content on the Blogspot platform, I'm going to show you how it can be done using an automatic code generator which I developed for this purpose. To showcase the technique, I'll use this blog. It's called Demo and it currently has just one article entitled My First Post. Thus, for now, there are two important pages on this blog, the home page and the post page of the first article. Let's return to the home page and look at its source code. You'll notice it contains three meta tags, none of which offers the description or keywords we're after. Same goes for the post page. Here are the exact same tags we saw earlier. Besides this, you can notice that the title is made up of the blog title followed by the post title. Our aim will be to add two more meta tags on each page and swap the post title with the blog title for post pages or remove the blog title from this line altogether. To achieve this, we'll use the code generator I mentioned earlier. It's basically a small JavaScript application which acts as a wizard. You can find it below this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to www.agawebs.com. Go to the index page and look for an article published on February 12th called Custom, Meta and Title Tags for Blogger. By the time you get here, this video will probably be embedded somewhere in this area. This is the wizard. Let's go ahead and fill in the form. Since there are only two pages on my blog, I'll choose the value 2 as an answer to the first question. I do want to create a description and keywords for my home page, so I'll answer yes to this one. Do I want to swap the post title with the blog title for post pages? I'll say yes to this one as well. At the fourth step, I'll actually choose to only keep the article title for post pages and I can now move on to actually filling in the keywords and descriptions I want for my pages. According to the selection I made above, page 1 will be my home page. As you can see I don't need to specify its URL so I'll just start with the keywords for it. I'll use test blog and home page keyword. They have to be separated by commas. Next, let's write a few words about my blog. This will be the meta description of the home page. For page 2, I need to copy the URL of my post page. then return to the wizard and paste it into this box. Now let's write some keywords and a description for this page as well. After filling in the last text area, I can click out of it and enable this button. Let's press it to generate the code. This is it. I'll just select it right click and choose copy. Now let's return to the blog and place the code in its HTML source. Here's the control panel of my blog. I'll select the layout tab and then edit HTML. In this section I'll look for a line which starts with the title tag and ends with backslash title. There's only one such line in here for now and the code I've generated needs to replace it. Again, I make sure the line is encased in title tags, select it and choose to paste the code over it. We're nearly there. Please note that the code has added a commented line 
which says place future descriptions and keywords here. It's here to help me place more meta tags. I'll just click save template now and go to see the results. In the source code of my homepage, I now have a meta description tag containing a few words about my blog and a keywords tag. In the source code of my post page, the title contains the post title only and the description and keywords meta tags have a different content. To complete the scenario, let's say I need to write a new article. I'll call it second article and use some random text as its content. Here's the post page of this article. As you can see, its title is in the new format, meaning it only contains the post title. Let's copy the URL of this page and create custom meta tags for it. I'll go back to agawebs.com and reset this form. I only want to create code for one page, it's not my home page and I no longer need to swap the post title with the blog title. I'll paste the new URL in this box and fill in the other two fields. Copy the new code and paste it in the HTML source of my blog over the commented line I mentioned earlier. Let's check the results again. There you go. That's all there is to it. Next time a search engine bot crawls your blog, it will use your meta descriptions to create snippets for your links. And it's more likely that your pages will show up in queries you targeted with your keywords. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you find it useful, please rate it or post your comments.